there are some things you take backpacking because you have to, and then there are some things you take because you want to. And sometimes it's hard to tell the difference, so I thought I might do a quick video about the things that are essential for a good backpacking trip and the things that just make it that much more enjoyable. Some of the things you need to go backpacking are obvious, like a backpack, some kind of shelter, and a sleeping bag, but what may not be as obvious are the little things that keep you safe, like a rain cover or a pack liner, some way to keep important items like your sleeping bag dry in the event of rain or high water crossings. Some people will use a high quality rain cover that goes over the outside of your pack to keep everything dry in the downpour, and then other people prefer a pack liner like a Nyla Flume bag or even just a trash bag. Either will likely keep your stuff inside your pack dry, but just to be safe, I like to use both, and I'm going to tell you why. Your sleeping bag is your last line of defense against the cold. Even in the middle of summer in high alpine areas, nighttime temperatures can drop down to freezing, and it's your sleeping bag that will ultimately keep you warm even when your other gear fails. Especially if you're using a down bag, it's really important to keep it dry. So I typically will stick mine inside of a trash bag down in the bottom of my pack, and then I'll put a rain cover over the outside of my pack. With this, there's virtually no chance that I'm going to end up with a wet sleeping bag. Speaking of which, your sleeping pad is just as important as your sleeping bag, and I know I sound like a broken record on this, but your sleeping pad is half of what keeps you warm at night, and there are lots of different sleeping pads, all with different R values. The higher the R value, the colder the temps that you can get into and still be warm. If you're going to be hiking in bear country, you really need a way to keep bears out of your food, and sometimes just regular critters. You can get something like this bear bag that you hang in a tree. This is going to be the lightest, but it's also the hardest to do and the most time consuming, and rarely do people actually hang them correctly. Or you can get a hard sided bear canister that are heavy and bulky, but they're also required in a lot of backpacking areas. Something in between is the Ursac that is basically a bear resistant Kevlar bag that you tie to a tree to make it difficult for the bear to run off with and get into. But be warned, determined bears can still get into these. And the last thing that you probably didn't expect is a trowel. Look, I know all the things you say to justify not bringing a trowel, like I'll just use my trekking pole or a tent stake or I'll just put it under a rock. I know because I used to say all those things too, but the reality is we're tired of finding your half buried feces out on the trail. Not only that, but your crap needs to be buried to decompose properly and not get washed into the streams that you and I both want to drink out of. So even though you could technically hike without a trowel, I'm still putting this in the essentials list. Before you disagree with me in the comments, go watch this video right here. Oh, and toilet paper. Don't forget toilet paper. Okay, so those are the bare necessities in my mind, the things that most people are going to need to go backpacking. Things like a backpack, a tent, a sleeping bag, a sleeping pad, a rain cover or a pack liner, a bear bag or a bear canister, a trowel, and toilet paper. Now, what if you could get 20% off not just the things you want to take backpacking, but the things you need to take backpacking? You see, when you shop at Moose Jaw, just because you're a viewer of this channel, you get 10% off when you use the code MLOMJ. That stands for My Life Outdoors and Moose Jaw. But if you sign up for their rewards program, you'll also get an additional 10% back after your next purchase. That's 10% that you can spend anytime you want, even on your very next purchase. You don't have to wait till the spring to get your dividend or anything like that. You just get 10% back. Check out Moose Jaw at moosejaw.com or through the links in the description. Use the code MLOMJ for 10% off most things Moose Jaw sells, 5% off things that are already on sale. Some exclusions do apply. Okay, so now for the stuff you're going to want, and some of the more obvious things are things like a stove or a water filter or a headlamp, and if those things sound more like needs than wants, the only reason I include them here is because you don't technically need a stove. You can cold soak your food or just pack ready to eat meals, and you can treat water with things other than a filter like iodine or chlorine tabs or even just boiling, but a filter is going to be much more pleasant which is why you're going to want it. Then there are things like extra socks. Look, I don't take two of anything, but I do take two pairs of socks, and all the clothes that I wear get filthy, but for some reason, socks not only get filthy, but they also get 
crusty and uncomfortable. Since my primary activity is walking, it's really nice to put on a new pair of socks every couple of days. I also like to bring a pair of sandals to wear around camp. When your feet are sore and tired from walking all day, it's really nice to sit down and take your shoes off to let your feet breathe. And I used to just walk around camp with my shoes untied to kind of give my feet a little bit more room, but then I found these super lightweight sandals, which make for a much more pleasant experience. Plus, they only weigh an ounce, and so it's like a no-brainer for camp shoes. Speaking of sitting, no list of comfort items would be complete without a chair. If you watch this channel very much at all, then you know I am a big fan of bringing a chair. And I take a seat almost every time I go out with very little exception. The Helinox Chair Zero weighs right at a pound and is actually one of the heavier items that I bring. But like I've said before, a pound is better than the ground. I mentioned a sleeping bag and a list of things you might need, but what I didn't say is that I prefer quilts. Quilts are a lot like sleeping bags, but they are open on the back and instead of getting inside them, you lay them over you like a blanket. I find sleeping bags are just too restrictive and I prefer the comfort and flexibility of a quilt. If it's hot out, you can vent quilts a lot easier than sleeping bags, but you can also still bundle them up when it gets cold outside. Add a good pillow like the Nemo Philo and you have an awesome sleep system that I believe is one of the best you will find for hiking and backpacking. Now, the last thing on my list of things you might want is my Zolio satellite communicator. The peace of mind this gives me knowing that I can call for help anywhere in the world or send my wife my location or just update her to let her know I'm okay. Zolio is the only other thing that I bring on every single trip I take. I also happen to be a Zolio ambassador, which means you can get free activation if you use the code MYLIFEOUTDOORS. Okay, so that's not an exhaustive list of things you might want or need, but it's pretty close. For everything else, Else, I put a link in the description for a packing checklist that I created. That list has all the things that I take when I go backpacking, along with a few things that I don't take but you might still want. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching. Now I got like a flock of ducks or something flying over me. What is going on? What is going on? I've never had anything like that happen before. That's that's crazy.